2022 is officially here and I have some clothes with me to bring into the new year. And that just rhymed. Yeah. <laughs> Hey guys, it's Brooklyn and welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new. It's January, start of the new year. I hope 2022 has been treating you guys well so far. If it has not, sorry about that. But you know, maybe this video will make your day a little better. Yeah. Anyways, today I'm going to be giving you guys a little clothing haul of some winter things that I've picked up over the last couple of weeks. And I'm really excited about all the clothes I've gotten because they're like really good winter essentials that I can bring into the spring and that I know I'll keep wearing for a long time because they're just, they're just good. They're good. Yeah. I don't really have much to say, so I'm just going to get into this video because I want to show you guys the stuff. So I'm going to start off with the things I bought from PacSun and their post Christmas sales were very good. They they did me very well with that. So the first thing is this cardigan and I've been wanting a cardigan for a while but I didn't want like a super plain one. So I saw this one and I was like oh that's perfect because it has a little pattern on it. The blue and browns and whites and it all just pairs really really well together. I don't know what this material is but it is so soft. It's not thin or anything. Most cardigans I come across are really thin but this one is nice and thick and I could totally wear this on its own and just keep it buttoned up or I could put like a tank top underneath and leave it open there's a lot of different ways I could style this and I'm looking forward to wearing it in some outfits especially with these colors I have a lot of things that would pair well with it so I am excited about this and throughout the whole video I'm gonna tell you guys the sizes I got everything just for a reference so this is a size small and it is a little bit cropped but not too much and it's not too fitted either The next thing from PacSun is this sweater vest and it's kind of this beige cream oatmeal-ish color, I guess you can describe it as. Or it's it's technically sand, sorry. This sand color sweater vest. This is like that kind of ribbed material so it's super stretchy and this is one of those things that's just like perfect for layering and for styling in different ways because it'll be so easy to throw in a long sleeve or a turtleneck underneath this and call it a day and that's a really simple but cute outfit right there and I got this in a size small and again it's kind of cropped a little bit but nothing too crazy and this is perfect because you can literally find ways to wear a sweater vest all year long maybe not in like the middle of the summer that probably wouldn't be fun, but like any other time of the year, I think you can make this work. Okay, this top right here is a little bit different. Um, I had to explain to my mom that this is not a regular shirt. It's clearly this mesh material and I had to explain to her that it's just for layering. I wouldn't wear it on its own. It's this mesh long sleeve top and it's brown and has all these different cream colored smiley faces. And like I said, this would be a perfect top for layering. I've been really into wearing long sleeves under t-shirts. It's really simple, but it makes me feel like I'm doing something, so I keep doing it. This would even go like perfectly with this sweater vest because the colors complement each other. Love that. And I got this in a size medium just to be safe because I didn't know how the mesh material was going to be and I didn't want it to be like too tight or anything. And my last thing from PacSun is another long sleeve, but this one is this really pretty green color. I think this like material is called like waffle knit or like the waffle material or something waffle, I think. Or maybe I'm, I don't know. I think it's something waffle. It's this textured material. And again, it's super stretchy, super soft. And this shade of green has been my favorite color for like two years. So I always love getting a new piece of green clothing. And this again is in a size medium just because with crop tops like this, I always go with a medium just because I don't want it to be too tight or too cropped or anything. This will likely become a new staple. Now I'm going to show you guys a pair of jeans that I actually thrifted. Here is what they look like. These are a really nice pair of mom jeans. And on each leg, it has like these little stripes on it. And like I said, I thrifted these, but these are actually the Urban Outfitters BDG brand. So I was excited when I saw these because I really like Urban Outfitters jeans. I don't like Urban Outfitters prices. So I saw this at Goodwill. I was like, oh, that's perfect. And they were in my size. And they were mom jeans. I was like, mm, yeah, I, I had to get them. I also needed more jeans that didn't have rips in them because most of my jeans do have rips. And then I 
also have another pair of jeans. These ones are from Garage. And these are like kind of like boot cut jeans. I've wanted some type of, I guess, boot cut jean for a while. But when you think of a boot cut jean, you think of like a huge flare. And I didn't want anything with too big of a flare because that'd be just a little bit too much for me. But I found these at Garage and I really, really like the color of this denim. Like the shade of blue is really nice. This boot cut flare at the bottom, obviously. It still is like slightly a little much for me. But sometimes you have to go out of your comfort zone, you know, and try new things. So this is my way of trying something new. But I know once I pair it with the right thing, then it'll work out. These are a size 3. They fit very well all over. They're super comfortable. Usually my problem with jeans is that they're either always too small on my thighs or too big on my waist. Like it never fits both at the same time, but these actually do fit both. So I was happy about that. The next store I got stuff from is H&M. The first thing I got is this sweater and it has this classic Argyle print on it and it's clearly brown, black, and white. So definitely easy colors to pair with a ton of different things. When I was buying like everything that I'm showing you guys in this video, I really wanted to get more long sleeves that were like not oversized shirts because most of my long sleeves are like crew necks like I'm wearing right now which I do love but I also wanted to get something a little bit different. It is cropped and I'm actually glad I got this in a size medium because I feel like a size small would have been super cropped and because this medium does still look pretty short but it's okay. It's not too tight but it's not oversized or anything so it's a really nice fit. <music> Ending this video off on a very simple note, I just got this black long sleeve shirt from H&M. There's really not much to it. It's literally just a black long sleeve and it's cropped. It's super, super stretchy, which I appreciate because it is tighter fitting, so it definitely needs to be stretchy. And again, I bought this in a size medium because I didn't want to worry about it being too tight or anything. Sometimes you just need a good basic, you know? And that's what this is. This is pretty cropped, so again, I'm glad I got a medium, but it's definitely easy to work with, easy to pair with stuff. It'll be a good staple. That is everything I have to show you guys. It wasn't a massive haul, but it was definitely a good amount of stuff, and I'm excited with everything I bought. Everything I got is easy to pair with other things, which makes me more excited to wear them. So hopefully you guys also liked all the clothing items I showed you. If you guys did like today's video, make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel so you won't miss my next video. And comment down below any other video ideas you have for me, anything else you want to see. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys next week.